Uh, Jim Alexa, and I'm a director of the Jeep Owners Club. Brilliant. Now, Jim, talk to us a little bit about why you're here. Well, it's a Jeep event. Um, I started off-roading when I was about 16, and I bought my first Jeep about 20 years ago. But I haven't had a Jeep up until about five years ago, and I got back into it. And there's usually at least one event a month in the UK that I attend. And the Jeep, the official Jeep event this summer camp, uh, we make a point to go to each year. So why are you driving a Jeep? Oh, well, I've been in the automotive industry. I'm originally from Detroit for about 30 years. And I've driven a lot of the newest uh, automobiles, test drives. And nothing has ever put a smile on my face like driving a Jeep. And I get people wave to you when you drive a Jeep. Um, I've now had five Jeeps and uh, an original Jeep Willys. You drive that through town and people start saluting the Jeep, not me. And it's just a feeling you get. And it goes with the, the Jeep to when it started. Freedom and fun, go anywhere, do anything. So that's, that's why I drive a Jeep. And you mentioned the way, I mean, the, what's interesting is that the Wrangler is effectively based on that model. Yes. So it's a very iconic car. Yeah. How does how does that, where does that sit in your heart? How does that make you feel? That's, that's probably one of the most important things to me about the Jeep brand is the heritage and where it started. Um, it survived wars, it survived bankrupt owners, and it keeps carrying on, and it will. And when you put the original Jeep Willys right next to the Jeep Wrangler, you can see so many similarities. They're very simple, but they will go anywhere. And they're just, they're enjoying. It, it's, you can take the whole family and go anywhere you want to go. Um, have fun, take the top off, um, take off advantage the of the sun. Yes, yes. Take the top off there the are Jeep. topless days yeah. for the Jeep. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and, and finally then, there is a competition going on here for the best Jeep. Now, this is your chance to pitch. Why should people vote for yours? Well, this is uh, because it's a family thing. And my wife is British and she drove my Jeep Rubicon. And just one day of driving through town, she says, can I sell my Kia? and get a Jeep, a Wrangler Rubicon, I said, heck yes. So she's put a lot into this one, as far as the uh, tires, the design, the layout, the name of it, and it, it's a family thing, and she's put her touches on it, but this thing will go anywhere. It's a Rubicon, it's not stoppable, and why? Because it's rather unique, and it, it just looks good.